Okay, here we are. Another mow comparison. Late summer, late hot summer. Very hot, as a matter of fact. We're out there working hard for you. Look what we got. A couple of naked funsters here. You'll recognize this is our 2009 Best of Motorcycle of the Year, Triumph's Street Triple R. The other player in this game looks familiar, but it's actually a new bike. Ducati's 796 Monster. Looks a lot like the 1100. Looks an awful lot like the 696. But we found riding it today that it actually fits well between the other two monsters. 796, you might recognize that Mon Lame from the little Hyper Motard 796. A lot of that same engine and power plant here, but in monster trim. Comfortable seat, comfortable riding position, neutral handling, but a little more power than the 696. Good bike for somebody that's getting back into motorcycling and even for the right person who's fairly new to it. A little sportier than the Street Triple uh, in that it's more forward, um, but nice wide seat. Put an easy 50 miles on it the first leg of the freeway ride today. Uh, didn't find myself squirming around at once at all. Uh, easy to turn in, tracks really well through a corner, no surprises, very compliant, obedient motorcycle for handling. I would say that handling is probably the 796's strength. Probably the, the biggest drawback to this bike, uh, something I would like to have seen them do differently, is the suspension. It's a good package, but there's virtually no adjustment for the front. Rear suspension has preload adjustment as well as rebound damping. Um, so overall pretty balanced, but not quite the suspension package. Actually, it's not the suspension package that the Triumph offers. Brembo uh, radial mounts. And the treat with this, this model comes with uh, optionally the X. Overall, uh, just a good all-around multi-use motorcycle. I mentioned earlier that was our motorcycle of the year last year. Not having ridden it in over a year, I was uh, pleased to get back on it and be reminded of why we liked it so much. Great engine. Smooth power, plenty of power for the street, uh, very linear power, tractors out of corner as well, great fuel injection response, throttle response. Excellent brake package, uh, as powerful as the Brembo's on the Ducati, possibly more so, but with equal amounts of uh, feel. Really easy to modulate the brake on the Triumph. Suspension helps push this bike a little bit beyond the Monster in that it's fully adjustable front and rear. Uh, and as set up, a little more, actually more compliant, bump compliant, better damping, all around just better suspension. And if it doesn't work for you out of the box, you've got the ability to adjust it. Also like the ergonomic package on this one, probably a little bit better than this, more upright. Both have motocross style, one piece bars, but this one's positioned uh, so it's even more upright. Well, as Pete said, both of these are excellent, competent motorcycles. Uh, I'm probably the most, uh, if I can say this, unbiased in that I've never ridden either one of these motorcycles before, and I'm rather new to both of these brands and experience of saddle time. So I came to them as close to being a blank slate as possible, albeit being a, an experienced motorcyclist. And I was immediately enamored with the Triumph's power band, the sonorous tone of its uh, exhaust system, which is an aftermarket exhaust system, of course. Uh, the power band compared to the Ducati Monster is substantial everywhere. The, the Triumph totally pulls this uh, Ducati. I love the Triumph. Uh, if it were my money, I, I, would, I wouldn't hesitate. I think you're getting more bang for your buck. Overall, pretty well matched bikes. We probably favor the Triumph a little bit more. It has a little more of a hooligan edge to it. Uh, its engine power and character allow it to, well, quite frankly, really easier. So, a couple really fun naked street bikes.